slower. Uh, Robert Nix here, uh, talking about the you know, awful things happened to you at the Lewis and Clark State College. If you go there, you'll be advised what an awful time you're going to have. Stinking on the street through the winter time and being harassed by the cops. And all the storekeepers. It's so terrible. No one dares imagine how bad it can be. The only place to get something to eat that's not mean to you would be the Jack in the Box hamburger place and the little gas station that the immigrants have on top of the thing. Before you get to the orchards. That's the only place you can get something to dine on in the whole town that's not mean to you. If you come all the way from another country to go there, I really pity you because then they're really going to have you uh, uh, in, in a... Uh, in a... Uh, in the bicycle grip because they have, you're not going to have much uh, recourse to do anything about their uh, maltreatment. I'm really surprised that the people wouldn't like they were on the TV shows. <laughs> and uh, vice versa, I wasn't exactly like the Beverly Hillbillies. And all that stuff. They thought I was. And since I had to learn how to speak while I was in Idaho more and more and more, I thought I might show off my vocabulary and make a video. And tell people how they're going to get ripped off in Lewiston and Clarkston when they go to uh, Lewis and Clark State College. And uh, how they're going to wind up eating at the Salvation Army. And then the Salvation Army won't want them because it's full of local uh, persons already and their cousins. <laughs> Brings me to some of being inbred. I don't think I was inbred, but you know what they say about the Jews is that uh, they have to marry their cousins and all that. So I don't see how they can, the Jews can be calling other people inbred from down in uh, the south, and I don't think I'm inbred. <coughs> uh, some of my cousins are <coughs> If you don't know what eight means, get yourself a dictionary and look it up. Uh, I really like a lot of things, some things about Lewiston. I'll tell you what, if you go to Lewiston, you gotta watch out for the, uh, the mafia they got the, the mafia running around, they don't have what they got down south, like they got the uh, uh, little secret service, uh, like the uh, little town militia, you know, people and uh, hypocrites, that's going to keep everything uh, in order when they exploit everyone. Well, they have that in uh, Houston, 
But uh, it's a different subculture that uh, uh, significant higher percentage of uh, po Polish people and Russians and uh, people of uh, different uh, European origins than uh, most typically was uh, down in the south, which uh, so it's so stupid. <laughs> uh, it was so stupid to uh, think that you're going to go for immigrants to come to the United States because the people in the United States when they go from, from geographical areas out of their subculture into another area, it always, some of the things causing problems with that, and that's what you're going to find at Lewis and Clark State College and with the business people with uh, Lewiston and uh, all their lovely uh, cousins that uh, so besides that you don't ever know what you're eating <laughs> uh, so I really felt uncomfortable this morning and wanted to talk about Lewis and Clark State College because if you go there you're really going to have a bad time it's not going to be nice unless you be using you for the gimmick. If you get to get to you, be used for the gimmick. And uh, some bull hockey the uh, Lucia Clark State College has got going on. If you're going to be used as the victim like I was, then you do not want to go to the Lucia Clark State College. If you don't know what that means, get yourself a dictionary and look it up. So, this is all I got to say this time because I got up very uncomfortable this morning. You don't have to know what that means, Lewiston. You need to get yourself a dictionary and look it up. So, it's the same with that everywhere, I guess, which isn't really a bad place to, uh, to visit. And take that from me. I don't know what that means. Get yourself a dictionary and look it up. Thank you.